Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Edwards and I'm a percussionist and music educator here in Washington State. I've been feeling pretty uninspired about my playing lately. Uh, making these videos and listening back to a lot of the stuff I'm playing, I'm really just not feeling like things are sounding how I want to. Um, and I'm sure you all experience this type of stuff in your practicing as well. Uh, I've been doing different sort of metronome practicing, really trying to focus on making my grooves sound better. But today I thought for this video, I'm just gonna kind of show you um, something I like to do when I really feel like I'm just stuck in a rut and that's just jam with a tune that I've never really heard before. Uh, so I went onto YouTube's audio library where uh, this contains a bunch of copyright free music uh, and then I used a program called Moises where you can remove the drums from uh, the song and so this is essentially just going to be kind of a play along track that I'm going to jam along with and my whole goal is going to be try to keep the grooves simple making sure that all of my subdivisions are speaking evenly and always, always serving the music and not overplaying. So resisting the urge to play stuff that doesn't really make sense musically and just serves yourself as the drummer. Um, my personal philosophy in playing music is that as a musician, you should always, whatever you're doing should be helping contribute to the overall sound of the band and not just being selfish and serving yourself. So you're gonna hear me probably make some mistakes in here. Uh, I might do two takes of this song. The first song along with the backing track and then the second take I will play along with the track as well but I will mute the music so you only hear the drums and we can kind of really listen back and see how things were sounding were they locking in was the groove feeling good when all the drums are isolated so let's see what happens by the way, let me know down in the comments if you enjoy this type of video. It's kind of a different sort of video than I normally do on my channel. Not so much of a drum lesson, but more so showcasing what I like to do in my practice sessions and we can reflect on this all together.
So let me know down in the comments what you heard. There were definitely a lot of moments here where I can feel myself wanting to push, especially when I'm playing heavier, louder music like this. Um, my tendency, especially when it's at kind of a medium or medium slow tempo, is to always rush any sort of 16th note combinations, especially in my kick drum when I'm really playing with a lot of volume. Um, there were definitely some times in there where uh, my fills might be a little bit on the front side of the beat, but I wanted to build the energy along with the guitar solo that I was hearing. Um, but again, I hope this video just showcases that uh, I make mistakes all the time. You can hear it in a lot of my videos and that's part of becoming a better musician is practicing the stuff that you really want to improve on and learning from those mistakes and continuing to work it out. So. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.